Changing your password after a hack may not be enough. Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com. I hear often from folks who've had their accounts hacked and obviously they're trying to get it back. And sometimes when they get it back, they are shocked to find that it is almost immediately hacked again, even if they've changed their password. The fundamental concept here is that while a hacker has access to your account, they have access to everything. And that includes your recovery information. So if you have a hacked account and if you are able to regain access to that account, you then need to not only change your password, but you also need to review and probably change much of your account recovery information. So, for example, if you have alternate email addresses associated with the account, make sure they're still your email addresses. A hacker can change that email address to be his own, and as a result, can then perform an account recovery and regain access to the account after you've changed the password. Same thing for mobile numbers. If you've got mobile numbers associated with the account, make sure after you regain access that those mobile numbers are still mobile numbers that are yours. If not, change them to your own. Some accounts include billing information. It's rare, but once again, confirm, change, or remove the billing information associated with your account after you get it back. In this case, especially if your billing information included a credit card, depending on how it was stored and how much was visible to the hacker, probably a good idea to check your credit card for transactions while the account was hacked. Secret questions are weird in that nobody should be using them anymore. The problem with secret questions is that our so-called secret answers are rarely secret these days. We've shared so much information publicly, especially on social media, that it's not that difficult to find out what the answer to a particular secret question is. That being said, there are still services that use secret questions and answers. If that happens to be the account that just got hacked out from underneath you, once you regain access, review those secret questions and their answers. If you have the opportunity to actually change the questions, because many of these are, you know, choose one of these questions out of a longer list, then change the question and update the answer. In an ideal world, if you have to do this, It'd be great to consider each of those a password and use a completely nonsensical answer that only you would know to associate with whatever question it is you're being asked. Now, sometimes you will get notified. Many of the changes that I've just described are the kinds of things that if a hacker does, you'll get a notification of some sort. If it's a notification for a change you did not initiate, check it out. Secure your account. Of course, if it's a confirmation for a change that you did not initiate, then A, do not confirm if that's an option, and then run, don't walk, to regain access to the account and get back in yourself. Unfortunately, not all services provide these kind of notifications. That's kind of just the way life is. But for those that do, pay attention to them when they come in. Now, there is one important scenario that I need to call out because it is so common and so devastating. Your account's been hacked and you want to recover it, or you just want to make a security-related change to your account. Fine. The service sends a code to an email address or a phone number configured in the account, the recovery information. But you no longer have access to that email address or that phone number or any number of a variety of reasons, right? You've moved on from whatever those were. That's a problem. There is no way to confirm that you are the rightful account holder. 
there's no way to confirm that you should be allowed to make the change you're trying to make or be allowed to access the hacked account. The solution is prevention, and it's very, very simple. Make absolutely certain that the recovery information, especially of your important accounts, is always kept up to date. The pattern here for your hacked account is very simple. Any and all information that could be used to regain access to your account should be reviewed and potentially changed after you regain access to your account. These are the kinds of things that hackers know about and potentially can play with to cause further mischief even after you've changed your password. That's why changing your password is not enough. For updates, for comments, for links related to this topic and more, visit askleo.com 15053. I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is askleo.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.